you can see this one right here is the mailbox is full. It is stuffed with things. There's no shoveling on the driveway that's done. So what we're going to do is check out my phone right now. How do you find deeply discounted properties that you can buy and fix up or wholesale to another investor? That is today's question and all you need is your car and your smartphone. But before I get into the content of this video, if you could please hit the like and subscribe button, it helps us reach more individuals like yourself and grow this channel. So first question, where do you begin? So what you're going to do first is you're gonna go on your phone and you're gonna go to the App Store. On the App Store, what you're going to do, you're gonna type in Deal Machine because Deal Machine is going to be the app that we are going to use. Now, once you have found Deal Machine, you are going to click download. And after you download the app, you are going to create a free account or an account that allows you to get access to the Driving for Dollars system. And it's generally 30 or 40 or $50 a month. So it's very cheap and reasonable. Deal Machine is going to be the segue. It's going to be the application that we use to allow you to make an additional 10, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 this year. Now let me ask you this question. What would an extra 40, 50, $60,000 do for you? Would it allow you to pay off those debts that have been nagging you for years, student loans, car payments, house payments, credit cards? Would it allow you to pay off some of those? Or maybe allow you to give back to charities, churches, whatever you care about most? Or maybe take your family on the dream vacation that you've been daydreaming about for the last two, three, four years that you've been unable to save up for because of miscellaneous expenses. But back to the topic. So after you download the Deal Machine app, I need you to jump on your computer and go to Google or some sort of search engine. Once you're on Google, you need to type in average house price in whatever city you're searching for. So I'm gonna do the example of average house price in Appleton. And as you can see, it's 216,000. So what we're going to be doing when we're driving for dollars, we are looking for properties with a median price point of 216,000 and lower. These are the types of properties that we want to target. So next, you're gonna go onto Zillow or some sort of platform or home search platform that you can verify these sold lists. And then you'll just type in a maximum price of 216,000 and you will target the neighborhoods, you'll drive in the neighborhoods that have price points below that $216,000. And these are, again, the properties that we will be targeting. So before we go out driving, make a mental note of yourself of the neighborhoods you should be targeting. And that's what we will focus on when we go out here in the next couple minutes and start actively driving for dollars. We make our area driving through the local neighborhoods, the communities. So if you have a pen and paper, take it out now or use your phone and take some notes because I'm going to go over 10 things that you need to watch out for when you are trying to pinpoint properties. Number one being maybe the house has overgrown landscaping or the grass isn't mowed or the trees are hanging down on the roof. It's just not well taken care of. And this is very easy to see as if you're driving in the winter or summer months. Number two is only in the winter time when the driveways, sidewalks, or whatever it is, it's not shoveled, it's not snow plowed, and there is no tire tracks going up to the garage or in the driveway, I would take pictures of these properties as well. Number three is if the gutter, soffit, or fascia is hanging off or completely missing, or if it's peeling paint really bad, which goes into the number four point is when the exterior of the house is either faded extremely bad, maybe the aluminum siding is faded, the paint's fading off, or if it's wood siding, the paint is chipping off, or it just was never painted and it looks terrible. These are also properties you should be taking pictures of. Number five is if the garage door is kind of falling, caving in, or if it's an old fiberglass garage door that looks like it was from the 1970s that hasn't been updated in ages and it's starting to rot on the bottom, take pictures of those houses as well. In addition to that, number six would be if the windows are old, if you can see on the outside that they're falling apart, the, the window frames are chipping paint, they just look terrible and they're all rotted out. Take pictures of those houses as well. Number seven would be if the roof looks like it is far past its prime, or if the shingles are peeling off, or if there's shingles missing all over the roof, take pictures of those because you and I both know that roofs aren't cheap to replace. 
and you're better off possibly selling your property than replacing it yourself. So number eight would be if there's garbage piled on the side of a house or on the side of a garage that looks like it's been there for months, possibly even years, that the owner isn't taking care of anytime soon. And you know that because you've either driven by there before or it just looks like the weeds are growing up into it. And number nine is if the house just looks run down. Like it's not a nice house. It just, the siding's older and it, it looks deteriorated. It looks past its prime. And number 10, the final one that is a telltale sign is if there is cars on blocks in the driveway. Now, if you're driving through the ghetto areas, then this is probably a common occurrence. But if you're driving in decent areas, right around the average price point, there shouldn't be cars missing tires or up on blocks in the driveways. Take photos of these houses and make sure to watch out for them when you are driving for dollars yourself. Okay, you guys, let's get started and get going now. Okay, so we're gonna start driving through the neighborhoods right now. And in this area, it's about an average price point of $170,000, so significantly lower than the other ones. And I have Deal Machine up on my phone. I am looking for properties and we will see if we can find something right here. So what we'll do you guys, um, you can see this one right here is the mailbox is full. It is stuffed with things. There's no shoveling on the driveway that's done. So what we're going to do is check out my phone right now. So right now I can 41, I am gonna tag it. I'm gonna cover that up. Um, but it looks like they just bought it in July of 2019, but it is what it is there. We are going to then start marketing these people and keep driving for dollars, but we will do this consistently. So we'll continue to drive through this neighborhood. Here's another good example at 829. It's all overgrown. And that one's actually already tagged within our driving for dollars system because we've had our driver doing this for us for about the last year and a half of time. So we are continually driving through the neighborhoods, um, finding the ones that look overgrown, that look a little bit run down, or they look like they could be rental properties. And I'll try and stop in front of these places to, to show you guys some examples, just so you know what I'm specifically referring to. So as you can see in the video, these are all pretty cookie cutter houses. Um, some of them, which you can tell when you're you're driving around, it looks like an older individual might be living there. For example, this one on our, our left right here, 804. Um, what I would say here is this looks like it could be someone who's a little bit elderly, not like terribly old, but just on the older side of things because the, the house hasn't been updated recently. They have the old window curtains in there, that sort of thing. So it's just stuff like that that's you want to watch out for when you're driving for dollars so you can locate the biggest and deepest discounted properties. And it's easy to do. Like you could do this if you weren't explaining it or recording a video like I am now. You could add whatever 30, 40, 50 properties in an hour's time, especially if you're in a neighborhood like this. And this is not extremely difficult to do. It just takes some time and commitment to generate the deepest discounted properties. And the one thing I love about driving for dollars is no one else is typically marketing to these leads. And the reason of that is because you're creating this own list. You're driving around, you're looking for the most distressed properties to then market to, and hopefully they will be interested in selling or possibly consider an offer on their place. And if they don't, you just move on to the next one. It is what it is there. Now, what do you do after pinning all those properties, driving for an hour, two hours, three hours a time, and you have this list of 100 or 200 properties that you've added? Well, what you need to do is start marketing to these owners. So I'll let you decide what's easiest for you, but typically what we do is we send postcards, we call them, and we might even text them if we cannot get a hold of them in the other two methods. And by doing this, we're reaching out, we're seeing if they would consider an offer on their property. If they would, we take them through our pre-qualification process and provide them a cash as is offer on their place. Now, the one thing I want to make you aware of with driving for dollars, it is all about consistency. You need to do this every single day, every single week for at least two or three months straight. 
If you cannot do that, I would not select driving for dollars as your lead generation method because it does take consistency to pull deals from this. And if you can do it, or if you can afford to hire someone, please do that. So lastly, if you enjoyed this video, which I hope you guys did, please again, hit the like and subscribe button because it helps us grow the channel. And if you have questions, comment down below. I respond to everyone. I wish you the ultimate success and I will see you in the next video.